This is Twit. Listeners of this program get an ad-free version if they're members of Club Twit. $7 a month gives you ad-free versions of all of our shows, plus membership in the Club Twit Discord, a great clubhouse for Twit listeners. And finally, the Twit Plus feed with shows like Stacy's Book Club, The Untitled Linux Show, The Giz Fizz, and more. Go to twit.tv slash club twit. And thanks for your support. Uh, I've been writing more and more for the book, obviously. The book is uh, about 500 pages now. Um, I've written part of the help and recovery section, which is like recovery drive and reset this PC. In fact, I just recorded episodes about these things uh, for hands on Windows, which will probably, I don't know how, we're pretty far ahead now, so it might be January before those come out. But I wanted to talk about this because I just mentioned some of those uh, PC related problems with my daughter and my brother in law. And I talked about how um, I was able to boot into the Windows recovery environment on my brother in law's computer and use the command line to, you know, get his data off, which is key. But the next step for this thing, which he's not given me the okay on yet, is to use reset this PC to try to bring this thing back to its original factory state. I feel like in his case, he might actually have a, a serious disk problem, and it's possible this thing will not be recoverable, but we'll see. I can't, I, I did kind of get into it, uh, not before, I didn't go through with it, but I started the process using the tools that were on the disk, and uh, they did not work. And so I, I will try it later with like a Windows uh, install disk or a recovery drive or whatever, but, you know, we'll see. But um, I had also talked through someone I work with uh, was complaining about his ThinkPad and he was having lots of problems with performance and everything and he wanted to wipe it out and could we do it and is it easy? And there was a lot of hand-holding. He's a smart guy. He just doesn't do this kind of thing a lot. And it occurred to me, you know, I use Reset This PC every single week and I, sometimes multiple times per week. I use it on the same computer uh, sometimes multiple times per week because there's a computer I use for screenshots for the book that I have to wipe out to get it back to a pristine state. And just in talking to people about this kind of thing, it's pretty obvious to me that a lot of people are freaked out by this. They're scared by it. They're worried about the reliability of it. If everything's going to come, you know, become or come back normally, be okay. And I got to say, this thing works great. It's fast. You know, if you're doing it for yourself, uh, 20 minutes, right? That's all it takes. It's very fast. And you can bring it back with your data and your Microsoft account and your installed store apps. You'll have to reinstall desktop apps if you want. Um, there's also an interesting option that used to be part of a separate tool called Fresh Start, which you can still see links to in um, the Windows security app in Windows 11, but it doesn't launch the app anymore. Um, that has a unique feature where you, you buy a computer, say it's from like Dell or Lenovo or HP, whatever, and you're like, I want to reset this thing, but I don't want their stuff to be on it again, right? Like I want the drivers, obviously, but I don't want the utilities. There's actually an option in there for that, and they took that from Fresh Start. Um, so... I would just say, you know, uh, well, you know, <laughs> buy the book. Uh, it's described in there, but or not. I mean, you know, people watching this podcast don't need it. You can, you can do this. Like this is, I think this is a tool that freaks people out, but it's, um, I use it all, I use it, like I said, every week. It's, it works great. It's a, this is a, it's destructive, but um, reliable, I guess would be the way. Use it on the it, same so. machine every week or just different machines? The same and different. So there's one machine I use for screenshots, uh, most screenshots. I wipe that thing out regularly. I've wiped it out multiple times. Is that because you want it to be pure uh, when you get the screenshot? Yeah, it has to go back to original. Yeah, so yeah. especially, uh, I just finished, did I finish? Yeah. So I just wrote a section on accounts. And one of the weird things about accounts is that depending on how you, you configure them, it it changes the way the everything's set up. So you can remove things, but I need I need to go back to the beginning. So I, I just reset it. And, and 20 minutes later, it's there it is. Don't be afraid of it. That's the point. Uh, and and then, do you do it when you do it to completely erase the drive or you save no. your data? You save so your the data. only reason, the only, the only time, no, I never saved the data personally. I mean, you might want to do that. Um, I never clean the drive. That will make it take an hour or right, whatever, right, depending right. on the size of the drive. Um, the only time I do that is when I review a laptop and I have to send it back to Dell or Lenovo or HP or whatever, I do it then. Or if I own a laptop and I'm going to sell it or give it away to someone else, I will do it then. But if it's just myself, there's no reason to wipe the drive. I mean, it's going to be encrypted when it comes back anyway. Who cares? Yeah. Right? So if there's like stray bits on there or something from some previous install, it doesn't matter. Right. Right. 
Yeah. I, yeah. So, so the real that. bottom line is don't don't fear the reset. Yeah, I think people look at this and they think, wow, this is a really destructive process. Hardcore. I don't yeah. know if I yeah. want to do this. Yeah. You know, people might even just like, I'll, I'll just use the Windows uh, install media to blow it away that way. And it's like, okay, I mean, yeah, I guess. But, you know, there's advantages to um, just using a tool that's built in. It's right there. You don't have to download anything. You don't have to boot it some weird way. You don't have, it just built, it just comes right back to the way it was. It's perfect. Plus it's up to date. So the problem with install media, unless you just downloaded it is it gets out of date over time. Yeah. Whereas the, re, um, the reset, uh, the re the, what do you call it? The recovery volume or whatever that's on your drive is updated with the version of the OS that you're on. So if you've kept your system up to date, it's completely up to date. That's so nice to have. Know. So that's yeah, another thing. And you're everything. getting, if you have an OEM machine like that HP you're using, you're getting mm -hmm. the OEM version that's, Unless oh, but it's you up don't to date. Want it. but or it's you up could, to you, cause you, you, right. you could also say, yeah, I don't want that. You know, how would you, so cool. then it would have to download it from Microsoft, right? No, no, it just takes out the uh, customizations. Oh. It, oh. You could still do it locally. Yeah. Oh, I had no idea. Yes. Yeah, I know. This is guys. I so just this I feel would, like this is kind of kind of an unknown thing. If I don't you think wanted to create, a, so it used to be, I wanted, I didn't want all those OEM customizations, so I would download the media creation tool, right? And all this, I don't have to do that. You don't have to do that. So the problem is, people don't know it exists, and uh, you know, as it turns out, Leo, your network has this other podcast that describes <laughs> this in great detail. Oh yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. You, uh, it's not out yet, but the episode will be out soon. It's called Hands On Windows. I think so. Oh I think my that's God! The name. It sounds. It's I am going like to watch. That. So there's. Is yeah. it in the menu command? Like you do reset this PC, and there's a choice that says. Yeah. Don't there's use two choices. The OEM. It doesn't version? say. So that's the problem. So that's the problem with it. So you get a unique choice. So there's two main choices. You're going to refresh it or reset it. Right. I don't call it that, but it's keep my files or don't keep my files. Right. One is refresh. One is reset. Both of them have a unique capability. When you reset it, the unique capability is it will. It will allow you, if you want to, clean the drive. If you refresh, it, it's not worded very well. That's the problem. Okay. What it means is the, the the unique option is do not come back with all of the OEM stuff. So it does bring the drive. You'll be fine with drivers. You're not going to have stuff that's not you know correctly set up with drivers. But it will get rid of all the... Um, but you then also lose all you your know. personal files. No, not necessarily because you're refreshing it. So that's a choice. You can you can choose to keep the files. Okay, so that's not the reset command. That's the refresh command. Refresh, right, right. Oh, uh, There's also, uh, I have a book that describes this in great detail. Thank God, uh, you know, I wish I had that book. <laughs> I'll have to go to leanpub.com and yeah. pick up the field guide to Windows yes. 11. Uh, it turns out you have four ads today, Leo. So um, <laughs> I didn't no, mean to turn it No, this is good. This is good. But the, the reason I wanted to bring this up was I feel like people are afraid of this and um, I believe this, I'm pretty positive this debuted with Windows 8. This has been tested over 10 years. It's, it's, it's been solid. It's, it's always worked really well. And if for some reason, by the way, something gets screwed up on your disk and you can run this tool from the Windows rec recovery environment off of a recovery drive, off of a Windows 11 installation media and still take advantage of the, all this stuff. So you're going to hate me. Mm -hmm. I am looking at it now. I wish I could show you uh, the screen, but I'm having okay. trouble. Yep. Well, I okay. guess I can. Well, it says Sorry. I've got system. I hit. I typed in reset system recovery. Yeah. If you're having problems with your PC, you want to reset it. These recovery mm -hmm. options might help. Fix problems without resetting your PC. No, no, we're not talking about that, right? Where are you looking? What is it? Where is this appearing? S system here. I'll show you. I can't. I <laughs> you can't turn. The I can't PC do on. a screenshot, but I can give so you. So what you should do is. Well, let me just tell the, you where to go. Actually, can I just tell you how over to get the to shoulder? It? Well, oh, there, see, that's it. There. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I, yeah. all I did was I hit the start button and typed reset, and then I got this. There you go. But I don't okay. see refresh. You, no, you won't. So click the button next to reset this PC. Okay. Whatever it, it says. It yeah, says it says reset. reset. Keep my files, so keep, remove keep everything. Keep my files. Those are the two options. Refre keep my files is refresh. Ah. Remove everything is reset. So if you could click, oh, go ahead, just go through it. Why not? Click, click keep, keep my, my files. files. Yeah? Yep. Because I don't want to lose my files. And Although, then this is yes. the refresh. Oh, and here I could do a cloud right. download or a local install. Yeah, but you know, so here's the thing. If your computer is up to date, the cloud download is not more Don't even up need to, to date. do that. Okay. Don't bother. Save for a gig. So click local install. Local, local, local reinstall. reinstall. Okay. Okay. Now this is the trick. Now here you have to check, click change settings. Ah. Now, that one on the left is the Do option. not re re do not restore pre-installed right. apps. It's not worded very well, <laughs> right? It's not 100% clear what that means. 
But what that means is your PC Maker can customize this image, and this takes those customizations out. That's the signature PC setting. And then yeah. download Windows, that's from the cloud. Again, I, it's, this is because this utility okay. has existed for 10 years, and that's a It just doesn't. Digital. It's historic. Yeah. It's, yes. it's the second time you get to choose that option. But. So, again, the best way to do this would be to get, to get uh, hands on Windows. Now, the problem with that, are we going to make that one public? <laughs> I don't uh, know. Oh, yeah. I, I don't know. Yeah. I can I can you lobby know, every, for that. Every, I have okay. friends in high places.